Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I came back because I have to share this one other video that needed to go by itself. Okay, it is a prophecy. It was a dream. I th let me let me play let me play the first little bit of it. Okay, you just listen. Oh, it's by um, Rebecca Portillo loves. Jesus. I never heard of her before. And Kathy played this last night on Grafted in Team Jesus. And I was like, this is the answer to my prayer. Because listen, y'all, I got to tell you something. I was having this little nagging doubt, you know, like, am I really part of the first fruits? Am I really going to go? I, you know, I don't hear from the Lord like I used to. And I thought, I must be doing something wrong and I was praying about it and I never got any answer and I was like if I'm doing something wrong Lord I don't know what it is I repent of it every night I repent and so forth okay I was praying this yesterday morning and finally Kathy and Dan got to come back on because they've been under the weather dealing with spiritual battles See, when you're in a deliverance ministry, you can be any kind of ministry where you are making a difference for the Lord. It's all kinds, not just deliverance, healing ministries, preaching, good preaching ministries, like talking about the Holy Spirit, needing to have the Holy Spirit, and how to do spiritual warfare, and Things the devil just doesn't want you to know. You know, all that stuff the churches don't teach you. You're going to get attacked. And we have to constantly be on the lookout for open doors. And you know, things that some of y'all don't intentionally mean to say and you say stuff about people, that can, words can be damaging. It doesn't seem fair, I know. When you put your walls around you with your hedges of protection, you plead the blood of Jesus. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're anointing your home and all that. But yet, somehow, these little curses slip in. They get in. Anyway, so they were back last night. And they played this. And I was just so excited to hear this i knew it was from god and i knew the woman was released or the gal she really sounds very young what well, she said i was released to put it up i believe it was four days ago and it got played last night is when i heard it okay let me let you hear the first little bit <laughs> Hi, my brothers and sisters, Sister Rebecca coming to you with an incredible dream that the Lord has given to me. So, in this dream, I want to go ahead and share it with you all. The Lord told me to go ahead and release it. Um, this dream is about the first fruits and slash the 144,000 uh, end time army. So, in this dream... Okay, I'm just going to summarize it for you. All right, it's about the first fruits or 144,000. Like I was telling you, I believe yesterday, uh, what kind of person that is. And I was talking about that scripture. I believe I included that um, from the book of Revelation about the 144,000 in Revelation 14, verse 4. Well, anyway, she goes into that in this. She says, here's the dream. She finds herself at an airport with four guys and three other women. So that makes four couples, right, that are going to work together on the same team. But she can't find her ticket. Everybody's got their luggage. They're all ready to go. She knows that they're leaving to some secluded place for training. All right? And this married couple comes along, and she's like nearly in tears and frantic trying to find her ticket. 
And they said, oh, don't worry, don't worry, we'll take care of it. So the scene changes in the dream. You know how dreams are. And they find, she sees somebody opening a filing cabinet, I believe is what she said, and a file uh, is pulled out and it's hers. And it's stuff in there that's all about her that only God would know. And the air, the airplane tickets were in there. Anyway, so she gets them out. They, they get pulled out and handed to her. And that's all I'm going to tell you. The point is, it answered my prayer. You see, that's how God answers my prayers now through other people's words. So that's why I feel the need to share those those um, uh, letters from Dawn to you all now because a lot of them have answered my prayers. So they may not mean much to you, but they might be answering somebody else's prayer. So I pray that they are helping you in that way. And this is so encouraging. I want you to hear it. And it's only, it's 11 minutes because it's kind of lengthy and it goes into, they get to the place and she talks about their superpower. And it's just, it's just very, very encouraging. So be encouraged this day. And let this lady's dream help you be even more encouraged, okay? All right, that's all I'm going to say about it. I hope it encourages you. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over all of us and our internet connections and over all of our devices as well. Okay, I'm going to let you go with that, and with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.